Good afternoon. Um, this morning at about uh, 10 13, so uh, our office uh, our dispatch received a call from our officers who were in the process of uh, serving some civil process out, out of uh, OA Park Road in the River Birch Apartments here in Raleigh. Uh, where they <coughs> eventually faced some gunfire from the occupant. Um, they went out to um, serve that process, didn't get an answer at the door initially, uh, tried two or three other places, uh, uh, units that were further down that had the process uh, pending as well. Came back to that door just to check it again before they left the area. Uh, at that time, uh, I mean, Sergeant opened the door uh, partially. Uh, they identified themselves, uh, members of this office, and uh, the person attempted to close the door on at which point uh, they tried to, you know, keep him from doing that. Um, and at that point, uh, gunfire uh, came from inside of that apartment and struck uh, one of our officers twice. Um, the call for help came in at that point. Uh, um, and we had officers responding from all over the city, a lot of police department uh, who uh, was close. Uh, they got um, their, their jurisdiction, so they had cars in the area very close. We had cars that were responding, uh, officers responding from the office. All over the county, it's uh, one of those calls uh, where an officers need help and, and uh, so the uh, response was tremendous from the law enforcement standpoint. Uh, the shooter subsequently uh, surrendered uh, without incident, uh, at which point there was a, we had to make a determination whether there was any further persons inside that apartment. Uh, we were waiting for tactical response. Uh, I made a decision to go in uh, without that uh, to make sure because uh, in these type of situations, you know, we got one of our officers has been critically injured. Um, we want to go in and make sure that there was no one else in the apartment that had been injured as well. Um, so we went in, swept that apartment, uh, found it to be clear of any other persons. Uh, we did locate some evidence that's going to be crucial to this incident. Um, and following that, also came out to check on the welfare of uh, our officers. Um, I can't say enough about uh, the Raleigh Police Department and their, their assistance. That's, uh, that's how it goes when these things happen. We all come together. We're all here doing the same job, just different agencies, different jurisdictions. But it's all here in Wayne County, and that's what we do. I want to say a special thank you to the Wake County EMS. Oh, man. Um, they were there. Um, these things make me angry. So this is how I show excuse me. But they got uh, our officer out of there. A lot of police gave him full escort to Wake Medical Center here where um, immediately began to receive excellent care. That this uh, medical facility provides. Um, it was a tough day. Um, but he is well, stable and um, obviously undergoing some needed surgery. Um, his family's been no located and um, has been notified they're here. Um, received excellent uh, service from the chaplainship uh, of this facility and we have our very own here as well. So um, this is just a, a great effort. Um, these things are going to happen. Uh, and I've been letting my folks know that uh, this job and serving civil process is perhaps the, one of the most dangerous jobs that you're going to find in law enforcement. Uh, SWAT teams and the TRT and all those specially trained units training together to go in and make entry on dangerous situations 
but here's an officer who's knocking at the door with the item of civil process to be served, and it can be anything from a subpoena to an order of uh, uh, execution having to remove a person uh, from that property. So we're in a time now where um, we all know times of heart, people are struggling, and uh, you don't know uh, mental health um, situations, people are suffering from a lot of different things, and you never know what you want to be on the other side of that door when it opens. Uh, so um, it shows just how serious this job is. It shows you how serious every assignment inside uh, within this office uh, is, is, is dangerous. Um, so we'll go back and we'll assess what has happened today. We will learn from what happened today. Uh, there are some things and some times that where there's not much more you can do than what they did today. There's a veteran officer uh, uh, that, uh, that went on a gunfire today for, for just trying to serve a, a civil paper. So um, we're going to ask for your prayers um, and continue to support law enforcement. Uh, this job is not easy. We're here and we do it because we love it first and we're here and we do this job because uh, we are committed and we want to make sure that the citizens in this county uh, have a, the quality of life that they deserve and to be safe. Uh, and we put our lives on the line to make sure that that happens. Thank you.